So, in a bid to make sure this never happens again, of course, Lord Strathclyde has announced he's going to do a rapid review into curbing the House of Lords' powers. I'll give you a bonus point if any of you can give me the real name of Lord Strathclyde. Bunty. <laughs> <laughs> One of those bonkers long names. Yes, he's called Thomas Galloway Dunlop de Roy de Bleaky Galbraith. Nah. <laughs> Another man of the people. Well, he's also got product placement in the middle of his name. <laughs> yes. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> he just he's... can't trust the Tories. Did he change his name in wet weather? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, several of the papers identified one clear supervillain in all this. Who was that? <laughs> well, apart from the obvious one. Who's the obvious one? <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. Mega rich musical gargoyle, Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> <laughs> He flew in from New York to vote for tax credit cuts. It was his first vote in over two years. He's previously voted just 30 times out of a possible 1,898 Ooh. in 14 years. But he did deny he had flown back specifically for the vote. Does anyone know why he says he was in town? He was here for an opening of one of his productions somewhere. A new one. musical called Cuts. <laughs> 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 Yes, he did see he was in town to watch the revival of Cats, yeah. the musical. Well, yeah. yeah. But surely he's seen that already. Uh, <laughs> or maybe he's just got a bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> How was George reacting on the night of the defeat? What did he have to say for himself? Well, I think it was shock. I mean, the House of Lords is traditionally there to vote down bills put forward by uh, the Labour Party. Yes. And... <laughs> 